Okay people, welcome to Active Gaming UK and I am going to be showing you um, the best render settings and capturing settings I have found for ITV and Final Cut Final Cut Pro X 10.0.3 I'll just show you that right here oh, Wait a second About 10.3 Alright, so I'm going to show you what I you I, well, I have a HD PBR set up in my room, obviously connected to my Xbox 360, and this is what I record with all the time on um, for my clips and stuff like that. And this is me playing live now. It's got about a two second delay, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, and then uh, say I've seen something pretty cool there, so I just rewind. No, okay. I just rewind that back like that and it'll show me exactly what I've done again but if I've liked that if I've liked what I've done I can I can keep it playing and I can click record and it'll record me standing still that's brilliant right, let's, let's forward it to there there we go I'm doing a bit of moving about now Alright, so it's just a little recording I've done for the purpose of this video. But what I really want to be showing you guys is how I render this footage out and what settings to use, etc. So we'll get about, how long is this clip? 32 seconds, we'll go to 22 seconds, it's a 10 second clip. Alright, what's it doing? There we go, so we got, we set our markers here, these little things. We set them and we put them where we want them. So I've got mine at the start there at 22 seconds, and you can watch it if we want. Doing nothing, there we go. And that's just my little 10 second clip which I'm going to be using. So this area should be like, I don't know what you call that palm, but like a diagonal pattern on it, and then you just right click export clip and um, I, well here I've tried lots of things and H.264 seems to be working best for me sometimes I get where it jumps um, I think I have a oh, I don't I might do I might have a demonstration of where it just jumps and misses out a bit of a clip with this format but I don't think I do no, I do not. Okay. I shall just do this anyway. So, every time you have to do this, because it doesn't save for some dumbass reason. But, um, when you're rendering, you leave audio and you stream the same, go to video, video format, keep all this the same. And depending on what quality you want, you need to have this set to 1280 by 720. Because I don't see the difference really. 1018, 720, but I used 720 anyway, and frame rate at 59.94, as it's better for editing, and the, da the dazzle, um, the HPVR records at 59.94 frames per second, so if you if you want to edit the clips and slow motion, etc., it's really good, and it gives a really smooth effect, and depending on the video quality, what you want, if you want it ridiculous, I don't, I don't think you'd ever want it like this, but I always use faster encode. Uh, I don't see any difference. And just click OK there and just save it to where you like. Save it to my desktop. There we go. And this is actually quite fast to export. So this is a 10 second clip, stuck about, I don't know, 20 seconds. Still doing it. There we go, that has been exported, and now this clip I can delete, like that, and here it is, here's the clip I've just exported. There it is, so we're going to whack this into Final Cut Pro. 
And to do that, I don't, I don't think you know how to do this, I'm just showing you a quick. Um, rendering format, I'm not showing you how to import files. So, there we go. Drag that into there. And, um, I think if you're doing the entire project, you want Battlefield 3. Excuse me. Uh, well, let me just put this into my uh, real spare thing I've got going on, which is this new project. There we go. This is FIFA 1. So wipe that into there, and you can change the settings if you hover over the project and click on this little toolbar here. You can change everything. Well, yeah, you can. So I have it on Apple ProRes 422. Once again, I don't see much difference in them two. So I just had it on that. Uh, so you want it on 720p, really. If you're going into YouTube and you want it quite fast, I'd just have it on that. So you're okay with the project settings. So now you just want to go back into here. After you've finished all your clip editing all that jazz um, you just you, know, you just share export media dot h.264 all that the same and it will look something like this Quite a small file size, 24.85 megabyte, H.264, width and height 128720, 59.94 frames per second. Um, I'm not sure if this is quite a big file size. I think it is quite big actually for a 10 second uh, video. So after this part's done, I will show you how to decrease that file size so it's quicker, but you don't lose quality and it's quicker to, to upload to YouTube. So. You might as well do it. It's a free program and it's called... What is it called? Here we are anyway. There we are. And the program which decreases the file size is called Handbrake. So you just open Handbrake. Um, this should come up first time. Um, new project, dot .mov. Actually, if you're rendering... In Final Cut Pro, as I've just done, it will give you a .mov file. So you really want to have this program as .mov files to take ridiculous a long time to uh, upload to YouTube. So download this, whack it into MP4, and what I do is web optimized. So that file was 24. Point, well, that file there was originally 24 megabytes. So then you've got it into web optimized and you just start. Won't take too long. And now we have a new I think, where is it? Where are you? Show your face. There it is. So now we have a new file, same as that, oh, shit. Um, get info. So this one was, well, where is it, Pardon? 15 megabytes and the new file is 4.3 megabytes. So you can see it's well worth doing it and I'll show you that there's no quality loss in the video. Can you put that in full screen? No quality loss. Quality loss, really. And compare it to this one here. See, you can't really tell the difference, and you are, you are decreasing the file three times its size so it's just well worth it if you want to upload to YouTube faster 
as I always do, because I'm very impatient and I don't like le le leaving my computer on overnight, so. And then there we have it, we have a HD 720p ready video, decreased size for YouTube. Goodbye guys.